Beloved, welcome back to the shop on a very chilly Wednesday morning. It is currently about 14 degrees outside and cold in the shop. Yesterday, you may have seen we were working on my uh, skid steer, Caterpillar skid steer. This thing only has about 500 hours on it. And on the information center in the cab, it showed a critical low oil pressure alert. So we traced it down. Well, I think I know what it is. It's this little sensor right here, $10 sensor from Cat. My Cat dealership ordered it in yesterday. It should be there waiting for us. So it's about an hour away from here. So let's jump in the truck. We'll head on down there, pick up the sensor and a pressure gauge and uh, see where the day takes us. I've got my sensor. Actually, this is a switch. It's an off and on switch. The part number right there, make sure we have the right, get the right part. While I'm there, I'm gonna grab a pressure gauge as well. So I've got this hydraulic hose that will thread in. I think it's the same, we checked that yesterday. Yeah, same thread, and then we'll just get a pressure gauge. And that way we can thread that on there and get a physically verify that we have engine pressure. So I guess that's it, let's, uh, let's head on out. Goodness, it is cold today. Off like a dirty shirt, as my granddad used to say. A case of grease too. I think we're out of fish. Oh, you're out? Yeah. That's all good. Supplier issues. 315. So this is the biggest rubber tire. Oh my goodness, that is a massive. Yeah. And it's loaded too, so. What's that cost? Quarter million dollars. How many yards is that bucket? It's a monster. That's exactly why I like Caterpillar. It's the parts for the dealer network and the parts availability is so good. While I'm here, let's go look at the new machines. I always like to see what's, what's on the lot. Brand new 279. Boy, what a nice blade. Look at the snow you could move with that thing. That can be yours for the cash price of $5,000. That's just for the attachment. I'm guessing the machine doesn't come with it. This must be the rental fleet. Nothing extraordinary here. Wouldn't mind having that D4. It's a nice machine. All right, gentlemen, we need to go to Napa, get some grease grab that pressure, that engine oil pressure gauge. But there just so happens to be one of my favorite places to get breakfast. There's a small French bakery here in town that is extraordinary. Let's go have a little breakfast. It has a beautiful house. And that is an abomination. I love French food. If I had to settle on two types of food, that's all I could eat for the rest of my life, I would have a French country breakfast and Italian for lunch and dinner. I think it's colder here than it is at home. La Petite Provence. Mmm. Ooh, it helped her open. Coffee with cream, please. 
Do you have fancy copies? I do. Can you make me a brevet? I can't. 12 or 16. 16. I will take the Eggs Benedict. No ham, please, with hash browns. Perfect. Could I get a side, extra side of hollandaise sauce? Mm -hmm. You can. Thank you. You're this place is beautifully decorated. That was delicious, gentlemen. Let's head on over to Napa and we'll grab that uh, pressure gauge. Yes, let's, which ones are they? Those ones. So, these ones here, the combination air compressor, battery, no, stuff like that, I would highly suggest staying away from No, I, I want something uh, commercial grade. Something the best decent. you got. If oh, you, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what you'd be looking at would be like these, uh, which I don't know if I have them down here. I could go grab them for you. They're, oh, they're right here. These ones here. The, uh, who are these made by? Um... Yes. What have you heard about them? Um, they're excellent. Are we, they? Yeah. So we have. There's a couple of uh, like heavy duty fleet repair shops in town. They're this using is them. What they use on their service calls. This is what they use to jump their trucks and stuff like that. Good to yeah. see you, Cody. Good to see you. Huh? It's been a while. Every time you say your name, I jump. Like who's talking to me? Right? Uh -huh. Oh, another Cody. Uh huh. Yeah. Hi. Well, I ran into this guy once at Coastal. It's good to see you, Cody. Yeah, of course. Be careful. I will. You do things. Thanks, guys. Okay. Have a good one. Goodness, that's a good-looking truck. All right. Mission accomplished. All right, gentlemen. I have to say that was completely successful. We got everything we needed. So, hopefully, that pressure switch is gonna fix that oil pressure problem. And uh, we'll find out within the hour. Here's a Proho tip. Whenever you're in traffic, never stop up tight against uh, someone's bumper, especially if you're in a city. Leave some room so that you can turn and get around. You never wanna be trapped anywhere. I always leave a car length at least between me and the truck that I stop in front of. That's probably about, what, $5,000 for the logs right there? Nice dug fur. This stretch of road right here, makes my blood run cold. If you look at that cliff up there, it's actually overhanging the road. And regularly, boulders and big rocks fall down just randomly. There's nothing to prevent them from just coming right through your roof. <laughs> if you look up here, I'll show you, you'll see uh, what it's been doing to the road. I do not like it. Look at the holes. It 
It looks like they're cleaning one up right now. <laughs> Look at the boulders. Goodness. I don't know if you can see it, but the whole road is just full of holes where these rocks have fallen down on. Man, what a, uh, what a minefield. Manservant checked the tender this morning and told me that the voltage is down below 12 volts. So I'm wondering if that battery might be bad, but we will see. If I have to, we can pull one out of something else. All right. I think we should start by putting the gauge on. I guess that'll tell us. Good morning, Mama. You stay warm last night. How are you doing? Let's get the fire warmed up here for you and me. Boy, it's been cold, cold, cold. I hear we've got a big snowstorm potentially on the way. So it'd be nice to get the skid steer going. My friend at Napa told me to charge this up fully before using it. I was actually, this is Mr. Peters, the one I used yesterday. I was going to buy one of these. I think these were like $300 on Amazon. And when he told me that the, all the local shops and the tow truck drivers use this and he's never had one come back, uh, and it's less than half the price, and it's more, 5000 What's that versus a 4000 amp? That's pretty good. I, quick, I looked at it online. It looked like it had pretty good reviews. It's very heavy. I'm actually kind of hoping it's lead acid. The, the lithium, when you need a battery jumper, you always need it in the cold. And these lithium chargers or batteries, they really struggle in the cold. So let's get a charge on this guy here. What's this all about? 12 volt maybe? Well, that's nice. So you can charge it. Yeah, it'd be handy if you're a tow truck guy. You could charge it in your... Oh, so it's just a double. That's kind of nice. All right, so let's get this charging up. Where's the plugger? Charge complete, charging, okay. All right, let's get our gauge installed. Looks good. When you wrap Teflon, wrap it clockwise. That way, when you thread it on, it doesn't unwind itself. How much? My granddad always told me about three or four wraps. When you wrap it clockwise. Now when you th thread something on, rather than unwrapping it, it just acts to, to continue to, you know, to put it on the direction you started. Little thing, but it, it makes a difference. Someone mentioned in the comments yesterday that I need a, a wrench organizer. Need? 
or want. Two different things. Actually, Mrs. W and I have agreed to do uh, to have a no spend year, and what that means for us is not not spending on frivolous things like really eating out of our pantry and figuring things out. You know, if, if you need making do with what you have. Now, if we need something, if something breaks, you know, like what we're dealing with here today, that's there's an exception. But when it comes to just spending or consuming, we're gonna uh, we have some big ambitions what we want to do, and uh, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't help just to be buying junk off of Amazon and sometimes, well, I think most of the time we can make do with a whole lot less. I know speaking for myself. Actually, I think I may have given you guys some bad information here. I don't believe that you need the Teflon, this sort of fitting. <laughs> I think it's got the, the taper in it where you don't, I don't know. It's not going to hurt anything, though. All right. We definitely, though, will want to tape this end up. I don't want to get a false reading by having a leak. Here's a tool that will change your life. One of these power built kneeling pads. This is, I think this is the same one they sell on Snap-on, but you can buy these on Amazon for about half the price. These are really good for when you have to spend time on concrete floors or on gravel. It really saves your joints. This is starting to haunt me. Remind me of the days of that TD-20 that I struggled with that I ended up having to sell for scrap metal because I couldn't get the transmission fixed. That is not threading in there, nor does it act like it will. Is this some sort of metric nonsense? Let's double check this. Nine point nine eight. It is bigger. Ten point one. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, it's not. I, I could see it's not going to fit in there. How strange is that? Hmm. I don't know where I got this. Maybe it was some remnant of, uh, I have no idea, but that's not gonna work. All right, so let's just thread this in there and hope for the best. Don't hate on me, gentlemen. I am not a diesel mechanic and I never claimed to be. I'm nothing more than a professional homeowner here. I'm doing the best I can with what I have. Okay, we'll connect up the wire. It's time.